Hi, fire signs. This is your shadow of judgment. I had to re-record yours because my camera decided to die on me right when I had started. And, you know, that just leaves me all peaches and fucking cream. Welcome to your shadows of judgment for the week, y'all. Ah, now I'm fired up. Welcome, fire signs. You're last on the list, but we always save the best for last. And that is how we go. Fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, and Jupiter. And Jupiter. Hmm. You got options on how to heal yourself, apparently, this week. Remember, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it is just a car game. You just boop your nose and away it goes, right? No need to linger in energy that it doesn't belong to you. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, cross watch or switch where you need to. In fact, everybody do that because I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's just how it goes. Yay. Anyway, Aries, you're up first. You got the Wheel of Fortune, that Sagittarian energy. Hi, right, y'all. I'm sad rising, so that's why I got a mouth. And I'm excitable today. And then we have a King of Cups. Someone's got a thousand yard stare too scared to put their foot in the water to feel something, right? Along with their options. Hmm. There are those options again. Aries. You might be dealing with a water sign right here. You guys, back turn to the options while well, you got the Wheel of Fortune. You know, you might be bit, uh, you might be a bit pissed. You might be a bit pissed and telling people what to do more than what you should. Um, this dude might have some secrets exposed on him, or he's exposing someone's back his turn. And it doesn't seem like any of these options are leading to anything other than a separation between you and them. Possibly. Um, yeah, you're in a mood to fight, Aries. You are you are in a mood to fight. You you are slowly with the wheel changing, going into a rabid wolverine beast oh my goodness look at this it, you could be dealing with a pisces honestly that's three waters in a row uh keeper of secrets while those keep while those secrets are coming out it's like someone's getting hit with their intuition about the secrets too about this particular water sign which is crazy hmm I almost feel like they want to put their secrets out in a matter-of-fact state without feeling anything. But it's like, I don't care. I'm walking away, Karen. You bitch. You know, it, it's it, it, like, hmm. It just carries, it all carries an energy of like, you know, not giving a shit. Yeah, they're too. Uh, the door's open, but they're worried about riding off on a horse with their happiness. I feel like they play a lot of head games with you this week, too, Aries. Um, like, this water sign has a lot of secrets that they're keeping in check, but they're still seeping out like water. All these options still lead to, like, a Two of Cups reverse situation, and someone having to walk away in order to be happy. But you're all nettled and shit, and you want to fight for the door, you know. Like, this is the past. It's time to move to the future, you know. Uh, there was too much of a demanding person in the mix anyway that was doing a lot of sneaky shit. I think you finally figured out, and that's why things didn't start the way you wanted them to, Aries. It was all jacked up, and now there's a slowly but surely steady offer coming your way potentially from an earth sign not this queen of pentacles what did i tell you capricorns what did i say anyway um definitely could be earth leaving in here uh, definitely could be capricorn because capricorn is literally like just been dancing all in everybody's shit so i don't know the significance of that but we're getting closer to december and january and oh boy that shit's gonna be whack. Let's see. Aries, that was your shadow. We're moving on to Leo. Leo, you ain't trying to fight for nothing, but ain't nothing coming your way. Earth sign. Earth has been all over the shit. You know, 
That's got someone like losing sleep and like feeling desperate. You're not trying to fight over someone's sneaky nature or someone doing sneaky stuff. This person isn't delivering anything, and they aren't trying to fight for anything either, Leo. And you feel like you don't want to try to chase them, if that happens, you know. Um, we got a, wow, we got a Queen of Pentacles. God damn it, Earth Signs. When will we stop suffering your ways? Anyway, um, definitely Earth sign. Capricorn could be in here. Also Virgo or Taurus. Um, someone's definitely an unfaithful spouse. But someone's not trying to fight that sneaky nature either. You know. This person over here isn't offering anything and is running away. Their mind is just... I feel like they're tortured, Leo, and you might be seeing this. Like they feel trapped or whatever. And I think you feel like no matter what you do, or what it is you're not doing would work. Leo, I feel like you're not moving to help somebody who's trapped. Or you don't have any passionate action towards a person who's trapped. Like this person doesn't want to give anything and they kind of want to run away. But they're stuck. Yeah. You got all these feelings under your wraps this week. And you're trying to hold on to your strength when you're not sitting by the fucking water. Mm. How weird for your week, Leo. All you want to do is party and have a good time. You know, have that door open, celebrate, get married if you want to, you know. The options are yours and they're all in front of you. You just don't know which ones to choose in order to make you feel like you've come back in from the cold. Well, there's something that, you, there, that you're not picking up or there's something that's not supposed to be resurrected or... Like a cycle. It's like someone's in a loop and it has something to do with this judgment. I don't know what that even is. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? A cycle? I don't. Like that just popped into my head. It's like, hmm. Like, are you trying to figure out how to get out of the loop, Leo? I don't know, but I guess that's what you're investigating this week. That was yours. Last but not least, Sagittarius. I love you. <laughs> Only because you're my rising. Oh my god, it, it took forever for me not to blow up at somebody at work today. And I was a good girl. I didn't do it. <laughs> so Sagittarius, what's in your stored week? Betrayal. Oh, all right. Well, I guess well, if we're gonna just go down that route. I, I guess so. Betrayal and not dealing with a tower moment. Ooh, what the fuck? Let's see. Because you're holding on to your fuck bases. You know, like uh, uh this shit is not fucking happening while I'm here. Uh, you are on guard for that shit too. It's like you're waiting for it. You're like just standing outside your fucking house with the porch light off, just being like, I'm a whack a motherfucker as soon as they try to come in my fence. Like a dad waiting for his kids to come in the house. Uh, the way this tower moment was avoided, though, was by people not being mature. Not really expressing emotions properly. Uh, and holding on to your bases is kind of like psycho. Um, you you might you might be coming off as a scorned woman with the Queen of Swords reverse. You know, you feel like you might need to walk away despite the fact you still have feelings in this Ten of Swords situation. And that but this person over here is kind of like you know, I'm gonna hold out longer than you, <laughs> and you're just like, oh okay, well you do that, you know. Definitely a bad judgment call on her part when it comes to either not resurrecting something 
or not having the right idea. It was a bad idea of some sort. We got a king of pentacles. And we got a cup of love, Sagittarius. What the fuck? What is this? -ness? Like this person is still holding out or holding out longer. They're going to possibly offer a cup. And then we got this dude over here who's trailing off to just show up and be like, Oh, there's a cup just for me. You shouldn't have, but you really did need to. I'm a, I am the king of pentacles. Like, you know, like just that cockiness. Someone's cocky. Someone's got a lot of shit to say and a lot of uh, reasons to keep their nose up, right? They're also mentally trapped in their fucking head. Okay. About a partnership that broke up or a choice that wasn't made right and they feel like they need to heal or fix themselves you know from a disaster of a relationship possibly or connection and they're going to find ways of doing it Sag that's your shadow hmm Sag, if you're if you're holding out on someone with love, I, I feel like at some point someone's gonna break. You know, someone's gonna, you know, um, someone's gonna cross that threshold and come in looking for info or wanting to express themselves or some shit, right? Something like that. Anyway, fire signs. This has been your Shadow of Judgment, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. No pressure, of course, but I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you all later, my lovelies. You take it easy. Night, night.